Hello, and welcome to Milo Murphy Beyond. Finally, more of, well, not more of, in fact, but maybe not in the way you expected or who you expected or something. Go, go, Vic and for me, Finny and Furb Effect, um, written by Josh, Jim Bernstein, Martin Alkin, Pink, and Josh Pruett, with story by them along with Danny Vetri and Martin Alkin. Don't get past that name. But anyone, um, yeah, we're coming into premiere of Milo Gaw, aka the Phoenix for Crocker thing, that Fog of a Cliffhanger from Fog of a Among Us. Um, Vic can come to air in 2019. Yeah, Vic and Gaw probably know by now. But before we found that out, we knew that I'm going to air in the UK in September, along with Gaw looking into episodes that I'll be airing over in Germany. Um, and in Japan, every episode going on August 10th. Um, go, yeah, I'm a little late to, to it. Um, you know, in which they have an English feed and let the episode leaked on to the intern web for people to see. And we knew about the Japan thing, and Japan had promoted it to hell and back, and they aired it. Yeah, maybe a little later we would want it, but definitely not a good time. But then Disney decided we're gonna air it all the way in 2019. But going to be online, thank to it airing in Japan. Go by the time it airing, everyone will probably see it, especially when airing in the UK. Go, yeah. And look, I'm going to get my mad rat, but I just kind of want to focus with the you know, on the upgrade itself. And there's no way I'm going to wait until 2018 to watch it. And to be honest, I'll probably watch it sooner, except I had to do a VR because. VR, I think, works better when I'm watching for the first time and have it be my off the cuff reaction. Working like a year later after I've seen it a bunch of time, you know. This would be kind of VR, so. And I've been going to stick, either stick, or to all flummy to actually want to do a VR, or I just have that time to also record a VR on top of watching the episode. So, you know. But hey, I finally. They get to watch it and I'm doing the VR. So what how it's gonna work is it's gonna be a boiler free impossible. And once the upcoming air, hopefully I'll do another VR there, which will be like an addendum VR to either to talk about spoiler stuff and also addendum to what I say here. Because I have not I heard some reaction but I didn't read too many kind of spoiler, so I only knew basic nation. My uh, one of my friends had a bunch of opinions, but I couldn't read them because spoiler. So I'll get to look that up when I'm done here. So the spoiler, you all can probably talk about some of those, maybe. But anyway, we finish the verb effect to be my law. Finish the verb thing. Okay. So I guess I just go ahead and spoil the ending of fun come on. So basically, in that episode, thanks to a bunch of timeline stuff, Pedestrian can not taken over Danville, and. Basically, the Milo who goes to Con Cavendish wants to go visit for Frecker Time, who was someone who came from the future trying to create time travel, and they think he can help them fix the situation. And when they get there, we find out for Frecker Time, they actually do for smirk, and that is how that could end. And when and they pick up right where left off, with Zoom even giving a recap, you know, like, so leave me, you know, get it straight, and then he's getting everything. And, um, the go, and then uh, more or less where we start here, they had to have the original train time machine, you know, the early, so they could be able to go back and fix all of it, while meanwhile, um, you know, Milo, you know, eventually flipped off of them, and become Phoenix Ferb and a few other characters, in order to team up and stop the smashing and Fred, essentially. Um, there's a fair bit more than that, but that's more or less the gist of it. Um, so, one minor thing I will mention to the point of that, do a short thing indeed, they mention a time, venture or time travel. No mention of how Finnick Furb actually did it, or gave you your own act of that. <laughs> no lamp shading or anything like that. Anything like that. So, I feel like they just legitimately forgot. I mean, yeah, Finnick Furb didn't, didn't make it public, you know, doing things like do what Furb did, make it publicly known, obviously. But being firm didn't win the vape at that time machine and gave your own act because got trapped when you can feature a couple corn dogs. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but fair go, yeah, that one bit of continuity they kind of forget about for the sake of this story, yeah, fine. 
So right off the bat, I would say that I definitely really enjoyed this. It is really entertaining, you know, as you would expect from something involving Finny Quirmino. They're special, and their special tend to be extremely entertaining, and have a lot of action, a lot of humor. And this was a very entertaining episode of a lot of the crazy action, and a lot of good, a lot of good humor, a lot of very funny moments. Uh, both the characters get a few funny lines, but there's some, there's some, you know, some great doings for a bit, um, great Finny bit. Uh, you know, we can great for a bit now. Uh, well, pink fur won't get to him. Um, <laughs> actually, we'll get to it now. Fur bit been replaced. He, not in the universe, I mean. Out of the universe, he is voiced by going out against that atomic anchor. I have no clue. And he, thankfully, fur doesn't talk much, but it's not distracting. But once you know it, you'll hear it. But the thing is, if you're not looking for it, he's good enough to where it's not too big a deal, so it's not too bad. But considering, um, considering he won my four he gets line before Phineas, and in the big moment where they finally appear, and so having to phone out to be kind of took away from it. Especially against everyone else, there, well, you still have Ashley Tinsdale, Vince and Martella. And they actually, I, I heard a rumor of scheduling comic from Bob, who actually didn't say who do all the stuff she does. Good. Tom Kingster, who, look, I can't believe you know him by name that often. He, I don't know. Nah, but oh well. The new guy is fine. He, he got, he had the voice down. You know? But yeah, this was definitely quite a bit of fun. It's fun to keep the characters interacting, especially doing certain sort of encounters in Dakota and, um, Dr. Gohn or Malkin. Um, yeah, Varen Rats would definitely look entertaining. Um, um, with this one, I do do much more fun. You know, more trappy than Alcophile, but I feel like they keep it fresh and funny enough to where it didn't get annoying like it did in that one. Um, well, you know, that, that's good. Uh, they didn't do something so much similar they do in Red Code, but they do it better here. You know, so. Oh yeah, the cup go definitely I get a team value. I really liked it. And you're probably waiting for the butt. Some of the butt stuff I have to rephrase that. Some of the problems I have going the foyer, so I can't really save them. So I, and most of the problems I have aren't too big. There's problems I could expected. You know. Yeah, there are well, there are a couple bits of continuity that they could forget for a Hanky River joke or for a new plot point. One of which is particularly annoying, and other people have talked about it, but, um, that ended up. Well, I think it's not a spoiler, but I don't want to risk ruining too much. You know? But it's not too big or minor thing, but with how good uh, continuity we show have, it's weird, but sometimes would forget certain things. You know? You know, and they're gone. And for a character balancing, again, they can borrow a minor thing off special, but if any sort of character to spare. So that guy, it's not, don't get too deep in terms of like certain, certain characters do not appear. I assume maybe later down the line we'll do some other stuff with our group characters maybe. Um, but I'm not making that um, Irving again, <laughs> but Stacey is not. Don't, oh, I'm not saying the extent of what they, but technically speaking, Irving does make an appearance. But no Stacey or Jeremy or whatever. Mm, that's not that I'm using. Um, you know, um, so, yeah, yeah, go, uh, again, that won't play in terms of who appears or not, but I will say, you know. So, the functionality of the verb here is just more to be help while the whole special is dealing with finally taking care of the threat and putting all that stuff, and the verb characters are very add on to help out, you know, go, go. But again, when I heard that they were building up for line from the beginning to include Frank Verb, that sort of worried me, you know. But I think like here, they trade off Dash and Frank Verb, and Frank Verb to help it. And the only big connection to doing some perfect time is the do for some perfect time thing, which I can sort of be okay with. So, yeah. You know, there aren't any big things that Frank Verb turned out to have been a part of the whole time or whatever. So, I think fuck that does make it be able to be a home thing. Yeah, and it's not a lot of characters against them. Um, I found a point one joke, like a running gag where people keep thinking Kaki and Melissa are together. Uh, also, I'm gonna go play it, they debunk the, the DOG Alka Asian thing, like off the bat. I'm um, like, 
they are probably good go here and people fear any fat and they figured it was too obvious to do it. Quick guy debunk it. Back one point I'll give because I had to find that right for you like not too long before I debunk that. No that was good. Um oh if you're wondering there are a few Hong um I believe two three original Hong there are two big ones I really remember and then the other I don't know if they're the third one or not. Um, I definitely know which one of my favorite is, so it's okay, go and get the king, who I'm so glad I got the king. Um, yeah, I mean, they're a very nice song, too. Um, um, also, they perform, uh, at one point, they kind of really early on, and people already know it, they perform Chop Away in My Heart. <laughs> also, Big Boy or Bouncy Dab, you're out of ten, stopping for now. Kidding. But, wow, cursed, alright? I think I'll give away too much, but yeah, there's some character mounting that could have worked out better. There are, and, and there are, there are, there are plot holes. I mean, Ancone who runs Janika Firmikin slash Marlo Murphy Glockin, I'm no stranger to the show having to think that don't make sense. And most of them I can forgive. Most of them I'm like, the capsule will hurt your brain. But go to Funk Among Us. That could not make a lot of sense. So, they keep it fresh and funny enough. You know, jack enough to wear it. It's not a big deal. That fun sort of thing do not add up. You know? But, uh, yeah. But, it's looking for other things you can nitpick. And, but, when the ended, I, thinking look back on it, I'll realign certain vlog. Like, for a sort of thing brought up that either don't come back or I feel like could have fleshed out better. You know, most of these are problems I expected because I feel like some of these show special can fall into that trapping of not fleshing out certain aspects of the story they could have. You know? And of course for thing that will totally be kind of again, you know, add up and but yeah, I hear that, you know, that friend I mentioned had a bunch of nitpicky little problems from bad up and he got kind of you know, but it's like you know, I don't know. Most of the problems I noticed didn't bother me. There are more problems than I would have liked. I would have made one this to be even bigger and better than it is, but it's a fun time, you know. If you just want a fun special with a bunch of dashing in action, and of course Milo and the gang, me the Phoenix gang, if you bad more like with that, you will get that. It's a very fun, entertaining time. You know, it's very funny. It definitely got that humor. It definitely felt like TV characters again, you know, for, you know, really this time. You know, and, you know, we get some good, uh, I know people about Jeep probably get the most to do in terms of like line, I guess. But, um, you know, I'll go for Earth. There is some sweet stuff here. It's not one of those special, it's not one of the emotional ones. And my uncle doesn't seem to be interested in them. Waiting for mostly dealt with them, Crow Blanc 2, Nightly Farmer, even, um, because the finale look like that. You, nah. They have a good main one. You work very nice, folks. Um, you know, and yeah, you will, due to, you probably will get flashback to current of Earth. Thankfully, no rehashing of festivals, uh, except for minor things, maybe. I mean, you probably will get a Night Lane Pharmacist feel from Park Minute, but, um, if thankfully you get to, uh, that level, like, oof, you know, intense kitty. You know? Um, but yeah, you know. But there are definitely more flaws we have like a better thing when I think about it. Yeah, they should have fleshed out more. But one thing from an early episode that come back here that I feel like it could probably be to have I would like the whole episode day kind of that round of that thing, but I think it's fine that fit here, even if it's another thing that got thrown in. It didn't feel too cluttered and I mean yeah, because could be show where I feel like we're like too much going on, but I didn't quite could it it, it's 45 minutes ago, it's relatively beefy, and it gets, like, and cook up on quite a bit, or the proc or kind of thing, or poked out of contact images on Twitter. Yeah, it got a pretty great, uh, title drop in it. <laughs> like, I was hoping they would drop the title, and they did. <laughs> so, yeah, that, well, that would definitely be fun. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a fun time, and if you know, if you're more forgiving of something, you will enjoy it. And I think most people will highly enjoy it. I feel like the problem aren't bad if the problem can get out of file. You know, I still like that one, and, but I think it's more like that because I enjoy it. I can entertain it like a pie, enjoy it more than Mickey Mile, even though that one's a little tighter. 
uh, weekly. Go the fall over ones are going to happen. We have a time shot story, pluck a crossover, uh, which, uh, yeah, which, yeah, that worked out fine. You know, uh, I just think about some of the funny moments I wish I could spoil, but, uh, want to, but I've already got away a little too much, but now I'm just talking about the nature <laughs> of things, but, but yeah, I definitely, um, I'm, based on what I'd heard, I bet it to, like, reflect that I find might, but thankfully enjoy it more than I find might, well, I found it really, really entertaining. I don't know about the rating, that's why I'm going to have to wait till I watch it again, which will probably be when it airs. Maybe I'll watch it. Well, I, I don't know. I do know that it was really entertaining and definitely worked for it. Again, for what it is, a Mom After the Law special wrapping up the attaching thing that happened to happen for characters, that worked. So, any problem I have with character balance can be shot out to that. And if I'm going to do it again, again, uh, again, the thing I got the most mad at because some kind of do anything, no big deal. But it just seems like a weirdo, right? Yeah. Still, the stuff that worked did work though. So I'm going to begin for certain plot holes or certain things that could flush out better or dress. But, yeah. Uh, the ending I have one issue with, but that's more of a long term thing than a problem with this cup of code. Go, get back again to Captain King and we'll see how it played out. Um, but of course, me too, we'll fully get to fully start to 2019. Although, I believe in, I mentioned in Germany that soon enough, the movie too will be airing that month ago. Yeah, don't let me do the on though. So, I might part me one a trolley part of me want to record a field, but hold it off until twenty nineteen. If you like a weird time capsule. But um yeah, and if so extra king two episodes are airing, I have no idea what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna watch them. You know, cook cook like you know. You know, and you know, the full progress I'm doing make sense for a one off special, but to do it for a bunch of episodes. I don't know. Go walk me. But I, I don't know. But, yeah, but um, I will watch the, the Cup of Code when it airs on TV to support them. Yeah, if I don't be wanting to get to the gummy thing. I uh, can't wait for the Phoenix for a family I cross over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I think I've got enough. I can but I'm watching okay. Vic will get extremely entertaining. We get the King Booty Cannon interaction. Very cool, nice moment from Catching Kong and cool, cool action, and a very fun time, and it was nice to keep the characters again, and keep them interacting with the new characters we have grown to love, you know, you know, and, you know, so, so, yeah, it definitely got, it got by me, it gave me what I wanted, could it have been better, yes, but considering that both these shows have had flaws, I love them, we show, but they have problems, they have, they have had episodes I'm not crazy about, Epicon I like, like half long, or even Epicon I find amazing to have nitpicky things. Again, that person who runs, Phoenix Burp, again, again, Milo, again, there are things you can nitpick to account for them I usually prefer to focus on the good part of it, but I'm willing to get it when something is not as good as it could have been, you know. Then, they can take it one time, but I still enjoy it nonetheless. So, yeah, that's the Phoenix Burp effect, and very fun way to begin the thing too, even if we won't get to the human record officially. For quite a while. Can't forget that I didn't want to do it. And if you were holding off until like October, I would have been patient, maybe. But no. <laughs> but oh well. And it's almost been a year against the cliffhanger of one of the among them, which is like September 20 something. <laughs> oh yeah. And let them go to December, so. Pay hey, any longer than the last time it got any club officially. Showing the Alpha file. And this was definitely better than that, like I mentioned. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, run uh, next model we log. Don't know, don't know if I'll watch for a week to if they do get leaked or not. But we'll okay. But, go, who knows. Now, PV log is the Saturday, which, uh, no, no, Yaki. Yeah, man, maybe I should have uploaded it on Saturday to replace that, but I kind of want to upload it now, go. Which I find it. Yak and Cat Air officially go so fuck no PV log because I already did that episode. Go, no VLOG for Canada, but this low longer VLOG for a big event. So it's Cat by you. But yeah, but don't bet me to get boiled on this, you know, hugely publicly until I air, but if you want to talk to me private about certain things or whatever, sure. 
you know, but it's like a public, not to actually air more game or spoilery things or anything like that. So, yeah, that's the Phoenix River Fed. Mostly worth the wait. So, yeah, I shall see you for whatever I do next. Goodbye.